Hello, how are you? As you can see, I've got a new little toy. Actually, it's not a new little toy. It's just an iPhone earphones. And the only thing that I got in the mail yesterday was my USB-C dongle. Yes, that's a word. It's a dongle. So anyway, it connects to the USB-C uh, jack on my phone. And then I can connect the earphones into my phone. So hopefully the audio sounds that much clearer and better without any sort of ambient noise around you. And that little yellow sponge is to prevent hopping. So I'm actually quite proud of myself. I never thought of myself as a sort of a fixer before, but you know, with a little mindfulness, you can do anything. How do you practice it? Well, it's like a muscle, like gratitude. It's like any other muscle, you just need to work it. What are we doing today? Well, I think you saw me taking out some other yellow blobs, and this is basically cheddar cheese. I'm going to show you my favorite flat burger, which I made in lockdown. And it's going to be stuffed with this cheddar cheese so that when you bite into it, it sort of melts out into your mouth. And you can use your favorite burger recipe for this because the flat burger is not about the ingredients. It's about the technique of making the burger patty. Don't you just hate those burger patties when you cook them up? They're nice and flat when you put them in the pan. And then when you cook them up, they sort of go and they mound up on you and you can't get any of your trimmings on it like to rest properly when you want to go and make it into, well, a burger. Come along and join me to make a flat burger in lockdown and we'll go and find our joy together. You guys know the joys I get from writing with a fountain pen. Here I'm using a Lamy 2000 its design is inspired by the Bauhaus school and it's made of macrolon, a type of fiber. The end of it is made of brushed stainless steel and it has a 14 karat hooded gold nib. Would you like me to feature fountain pens in the future? Leave me a comment below. Burgers are as easy or as difficult as you want them to be. Here I'm making them easily. All I'm doing is adding some salt and pepper to some beef as well as some dried herbs and then massaging it till the collagen comes out so that it becomes a little bit more sticky and then I will put them together into a patty and they will hold together nicely. There's no need to put any egg or anything but if you'd like it won't. If you'd like to add an egg or a binder by all means. Here I'm just like covering it with cling film and then leaving it aside. Put it in the fridge. I like using a sharp cheddar because it really pops the flavor and it has a really great contrast with that savory, salty beef. Your cheese should be about one and a half inches thick and two inches in width. And your burger patties should be big enough to be able to wrap these big boys in so that you will have nice melty cheese when you finish cooking. Now all you have to do is bring the meat around the cheese and sort of pat them into balls like this. Massage them so that they come together nicely and try and make sure that the cheese is covered well so that it doesn't leak out like mine did. But that's okay too, as long as it doesn't leak out too much, you're good to go. With apologies to the US Marines, this next bit is what we're waiting for. Flat top burger patties. So you take a cup of any sort, just make sure that the bottom is sort of like smooth and even, it doesn't have any ridges in it. And then you press the patties until there is an indent. This indent will give you that flat patty you want. You can also shape it a little with your fingers if you'd like. 
The reason this indent gives you the flat top is because burgers cook from the outside of the patty inwards, and this pushes the meat in the middle upwards when the protein cooks. So that's why you get that mound in the middle. Now, with this indent, you won't. Here's where I wish I had chosen a non-stick pan. In any case, just make sure you oil your pan up nicely, wait till it's hot, and then pop the burger in so that it sizzles immediately. I usually use two utensils to flip the burger so that I can support it in case it starts to break like the first two. A pair of tongs and a spatula is always good. But if you look at this third one, it's perfect. It's nice and flat, it's crusted on the outside, and it's perfectly juicy on the inside. And in the next shot, you will see slightly pink burger meat and melted cheddar cheese right in the center. Delicious! Next, a five-ingredient chocolate cake by Pierre Hermé, which I tweaked. Come and watch. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like and come and find your joy. Mm.